That was Jesus, Your Name by Maranatha. Well, our scripture for today is Proverbs 22, verse number four. Listen to what Solomon says. Humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages and riches are honor and life. So he says simply this, if you humble yourself before the Lord, when you decide to say, you know what, I'm going to let go of my foolishness, I'm going to let go of my pride, and I'm going to give my life to you, he says, then you understand what respect for the Lord is all about. You realize that God is large and in charge, but also as well, you recognize that your life belongs to him and that he is the source of your life as well. And he says the benefits or the wages of this decision is, of course, riches, honor, and life. Now, we have to recognize that that's not ne necessarily always material possessions, but we do know this, that of course, the Lord promises that he'll supply every need according to his riches and glory. So that is wonderful to know. Secondly, he is going to honor you and he's going to give you influence in your life. You are going to be a blessing. You're going to be an inspiration. You are going to be a help to those around. You're going to be an encourager. You're going to be an overcomer. You're going to be a conqueror. You're going to be a warrior. You're going to be a victor. These are all the wonderful things that the Lord promises to you when you understand that your life is in his hands and you want to do the will of your Father in heaven like Jesus did also as well. He says, you're going to receive life, that wonderful, eternal, and abundant life that only God gives. So Solomon had discovered that personally. You see, what had happened was Solomon had gone to a special place to meet with God. And he said, God said to him, what do you want? He says, well, you know, really, I'd like to have wisdom to rule your people wisely. And the Lord was so pleased with that uh, request that not only did he give him wisdom, but he also gave him long life and as well wealth and prosperity. I love how John puts it so succinctly and concisely in 3 John 2. He says, I pray that you be in prosperity and health even as your soul prospers. It all starts from the inside out. And God promises to be with you every way. He's got all these wonderful benefits and riches waiting for you. And all you have to do is pray about the situation and do your part and God will do his part. Remember, God has promised to be with you every step of the way. That isn't, isn't that just a wonderful thing to know? And that's what uh, Solomon discovered, and that's what he's giving you and I counsel today. He says, humility is understanding that God is, of course, the source of everything. And its wages or benefits are riches and honor and life. And he discovered that to be, and you can as well. Put your hand in the hand of the man who stilled the water as the song and allow the Lord to lead, guide, and direct your life. And you just never know what God's going to do for you today and tomorrow as you trust him with all your heart. You don't lean to your own understanding, but always acknowledge him and he will direct your path. That's the promise that we have today. Now we have for you right now, Ron Canoli with Jesus is Alive.